So yeah, guys, very big day today. The wilderness has been completely revamped and we have a new quest with some hopefully pretty nifty rewards. Here we go, guys, the new wilderness. As you can see, it's had a bit of a bit of a graphical makeover, like largely the same, but just a bit uh, a bit fancier, I suppose. And now look, I cannot attack people because they're not opted into PvP, so it's kind of interesting. But hopefully no accidental skullings. Wait, is that the Hellfire Bow? Yo, the Hellfire Bow is just chilling over here. Oh, I have nothing to use it on right now, but that would be... I hope it's there for later, that'd be very, very useful. Guys, I believe I found an infinite money-making glitch. You just keep searching these crates over here, and uh, you get infinite stuff. Literally infinite. It's crazy. Man, this should be the end of uh, Settled Tile Man series. He just comes to the wilderness, searches that box, and gets a tile, and officially becomes Tile Man. Oh my god, a memory! Aha! Oh my god, a memory! Aha! Another one? Wait, pets! <gasps> Can I give it a... Hello, little Zemarekian Siege Beast. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, yes, you're very cute. Look at your oh, ears right under the ears. That's perfect. Wow, that's a lot of damage. But I'm gonna die here, I think. What do you mean target's too close? Guys, please. Pretty please. This is not very helpful. I'm actually going to die. Okay, well, I died. That. Apparently you can use your keybinds for 1, 2, and 3, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, so I found my mistake. Apparently when you do the, the 2 ability, you got to stand still and you get a lot of HP back. So that's, that's what happened there. Look at the moves, look at the combos, he's cr Oh wait, no, never mind. I was too close, so I couldn't use my ability, which kind of sucks. But I killed all the monsters! Good job, me! Oh! No clear path to destination. Like, come on now. Wait, what? Wait, what? I was alive! And it counted as me dying? What? Um. Uh, Just drain that demon dry at the end and he shall die and I've killed all of the monsters. I'm so talented as Moya. Well, 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 it seems Avarice is a naughty little demon and we may have to enter fisticuffs by the looks of things. Will I just uh, run out of those for a bit? I feel like that might be a good idea. Uh, I think I'm doing quite well though. It's pretty low HP. Oh my god, they're click boxes though. <laughs> go, go. Oh, you cheeky. No, not that way. This way. Oh, no, 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 but where? But where? Ah, uh, we did it. Wait, novice quest? That was... That was a bit difficult. But we did it. And Infernal Puzzle Box Tier 2. Let's go and see what's up. Okay, so I have Tier 2, which is this one. So I get 10% damage reduction in the wilderness and 5% increase to monsters. That's pretty cool. I think it's probably time to do a bit of, bit of slaying. However, we need to also kill 144 demons in the wilderness, and I am led to believe that this reward is quite rather fantastical. So for Clues Cross, what you would do is like to go to Lumbridge, you'd go to like the Lumbridge person, but they put her on page two now. Like what's going on down here? Oh, that's so annoying for Clues actually. Yeah, there's a really cool shortcut where you TP here, like you surge over here, click on the trapdoor. Oh no, click on the chef. And then you like surge through the building again. I did it wrong, of course, but like it's a really cool shortcut. And now it's a bit more complicated. So you're telling me that I. The first option on the cape is level 54 wilderness. That seems safe. Crafting earlier. 
And for some reason that's now like permanently opted me into PvP with a skull, so make sure you toggle it off at this guy. Okay, I've got to say this area is pretty funny. <laughs> like the amount of savages here is just brilliant. Like the little like the little Zweedbergs wobbling around. Let's need to need to tank a bit. Oh my god, what the hell is this? There's a Hydrix dragon and a big demon. Oh dear. Oh boy, uh oh. <laughs> okay, so it seems like those threat level monsters that spawn, they just kind of despawn if you uh, if you run away. So that's one way to deal with them, I suppose. Oh, there we go, we did the achievement. 144 little demons, which means we've unlocked tier, th uh, tier next one of the Infernal Puzzle Box. Oh, that's cool. They replaced um, the ice giants with the glacors. So they've got wyverns here as well, which I hope I won't get ruined by all oh, those demons as well from ED4. Oh, wait, they've got mammoths. Oh, that's cool. I like the mammoths. Nice. Okay, I'm not going to get in combat though. That's pretty nifty. Back same as ED4. <laughs> they've got a billion HP and like, they've got the strong guard thing as well. Joy. And Hydrix dragons as well, and then this guy down here with something, the demons. Oh, hang on, that's the thing. Wait, what? No! Bro, I pressed food, and I got one shot, no! Oh, I can't believe it. I was just looking at Divas and then, like, I swear I pressed eat food. I swear I pressed eat food and, and it didn't. Okay, I'm, also, I'm a bit sad because I lost my Slayer task chest. Like, they're lost on death apparently, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, nice. So I got another box. The first one I kind of lost because I died, which sucks, but I got another box now. From this uh, revenant task, that's good. Magical. I'm in legacy. I don't have keybinds. I just took a 600 because I don't have prey mage keybinds, and I pressed them, but it didn't work. That was cool though. Oh 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 oh! Yes, 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 yes! I banked. Okay, fantastic. Good, good, good. That was the hardest thing I've ever done ever, but I did it. He finally came in range. That was beautiful. Dragons. Fire Giant, Shadow Spiders, Chaos Dwarves, Hill Giants. Uh, Hydex Dragon, 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 Dragon. <laughs> You're like a person. Uh-oh. Mage. Okay, so if you get hit by that, it's 1.5k. That's a level 10, if you pray correctly, 1.5k versus like 6k before. Is there 100k each? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Okay, I found the mobs, found the mobs, they're here. Hydra extra. Oh, they're, wait, they're quite squishy. 6k HP. That's not so bad. Oh, wait, I just realized 6,000 is because I'm on Legacy, isn't it? So they're actually 60,000. I take it back. They are very tanky. Run away! Okay, then the monsters just despawn whenever you run too far away, I guess. So, like, they're not actually all that threatening, are they? If you can just make them despawn, they don't chase you or anything. Is the full for fishing streams? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Range. What the? I clicked range. I clicked it. Oh well. I survived. It's fine. It's fine. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. I, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, for the health bay, you have to be opted into PvP, which I don't know. I feel like I don't really want to do that right now. So yeah, these new Wilderness Slayer chests, every time you do a task in the Wilderness, uh, without leaving the Wilderness, you get a cool Slayer chest, and it has some stuff inside. Alright, so what's in here? We got a... Oh, Necronium Salvage. 325k Alk, okay. And then a Lucky Charm for Zami as well. The puzzle Box buff. Um, the third one for killing some demons is this. The Persistent Rage is now a thing. In item form, which eventually I hope will be passive, ideally. <laughs> oh my god, wow, I got an Ancient Warriors patch from like my fourth worm. Either I got lucky or... Oh, I don't know, maybe I got lucky. 
So yeah, I, I must say the price of Searing Ashes is probably about to plummet into oblivion because, uh, oh yeah, there's not really any threat anymore, is there? Oh, okay, so we've been spawned on by a couple of Dark Beasts and a, a Ripper Demon, uh, which don't seem too scary right now. Is he even spec? Okay, well, I killed a Ripper Demon. I wonder if they can drop the Ripper Claws. Maybe like Dark Beast drop a Dark Bow, that'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Oh nice, they got the Lava Strike on Soul. I think they're quite rare, aren't they? So getting that within like not that long is pretty good. We're investigating. Oh wait, hang on, I just got some Brawling Gloves. Is that, wait, is that a new thing? Or am I lucky? I, I don't know, but I'll, I'll take them. Got some Hunter Gloves. I gotta say, it definitely feels weird, like bringing like trim masterwork vestments and lang swords into the wilderness and actually being safe. <laughs> like it's it's very odd. Okay, so another wilderness slayer chest. Let's see what's in this one. Good luck. Boom. Oh, dragon trinkets for the first time on Iron Man. Cool. Good. Okay, Operation Find Bank Space, Metamorphic Geode, wow, Golden Rock, wow, Strange Rock, wow, a Dust and Spirit, that's a pretty bad loot actually, oh well, that's fine. Guys, look, 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 more Bank Space, I got a Vine Whip recently, and then I can do that and this, Enchantment of Agony, let's go, woo, fantastic Bank Space, yeah. Alright, it's so a little break from Wilderness Inc. to do some uh, Grimoire Page Hunting, so kind of praying for a... Uh, a cluster, that would be lovely actually. Alright, another lootation. Grim pages, please. Oh, an effigy. Alright, I will take that. That's fine. Let's get some, some lovely XP. Alright, here we go. Another bit of lootations. Anything orange? Not looking very orange right now, but we do appreciate the. Oh, that's orange. Congrats. Is there a back to back? Is the question. Uh, it's not looking too hopeful, so maybe not this time, but maybe next time, so that it's like pointless. Alright, what about this time? Anything super cool? Green and blue, green and blue, green and blue, green and blue, green and blue. Go on, orange time. No orange. A little bit sad, but, you know, a page is a page, so that's okay. Like, I feel like... Oh. Goodbye. Wait, two people died? Oh dear. <laughs> there we go, more lutations coming in. Anything cool? Hydrix tips? A page? We'll take that. We'll take that, that is perfectly fine. Any orange? Nope. Alright, what happens this time? Anything cool? No, just blues and greens everywhere. But still fine, yeah, 45 minutes of pages, very nice. Alright, last call of that hour there, so... Anything... Oh yeah, Bay Night Spirits, that's what I'm talking about, let's go! Okay, so more Salak, hopefully more lovely things. Oh wow, that's technically back-to-back Bay Night Spirits, lucky me. One more lovely page, and some black dehydes. It's kind of funny, like, the comments from this boss compared to, like, the comments of Zami. It's, uh, <laughs> quite interesting, the comparison. All right, another bit of a lutation. It's surely an orange time, right? No orange. Oh, I'm being a bit, a bit scammer jammed here, but okay. Another one coming in, good luck. Oh, Wine of Sorrow, I actually really need those actually, so any Wines of Sorrow drops are very good. It's like Super Brews at Zami are important. Wait, that was a PB? No way, do we PB'd by a tick, let's go! Right, we're so talented, so PB and maybe a drop come hand in hand, boom! Ah, just some, just some cadentines. That's okay. 
Another kill coming in. Surely orange this time, right? Boom! Oh, Wines of Sorrow though, actually. I will happily have that. No problems. So we've got uh, yeah, 65 of them today. Alright, come on, Sarlacc. What do you got for us this time? Uh, coins. Wow. That pays for... Oh, dude, I thought that was one of us in <laughs> the Crypt Loom top, but no. Alright, surely orange this time. Boom! No, just just some coins again. That's a back-to-back, -back, I think. Don't mind stealing route to Sarah Wines though for for Zami. So yeah, that's that's a much happier looking uh, stack of Grimoire pages. It's still not perfect, but twenty one instead of like five is pretty good. Hey guys, look cheeky hour of Crocioso and absolutely no Cioso drop Cioso at all Cioso. Okay guys, I just got the best Croesus drop I've had in a long time, and uh, it was Illajanka components from my point of the cards, so that's kind of cool. Oh guys, look at this. The last kill of the hour, and someone else gets the item that I so desperately need. I got so many points as well. Bittersweet, like, I'm, I'm happy for him, you know, he got, he, he got a drop, that's cool. But, like, I really, really want it. Our YouTube, I think, Wazzy is sad. Yep. <laughs> so yeah guys, there we go. We did a little bit of uh, wilderness thing today. And obviously a little bit of the big tree man as well, because I really do need Grimoire pages. And uh, a bit of crow, saw some drops, saw the drop I wanted, but didn't get it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of the uh, the wilderness here? It's, uh, it's kind of cool. I do think it looks like a little bit like smooth though. Tiny little bit too smooth. And I must say, the threat level thing, like, I, I I don't know what the definition of threat is supposed to be, but I don't know, it, it seems a lot safer at level 10 than it perhaps should be. <laughs> like, you, like, you get a mob spawning you once every, like, half an hour or something, and then, like, a, a volcano thing every 20 minutes. Like, it's kind of, like, I, I thought it would be a bit more, a bit more threatening, you know? And uh, but other than that though, I guess uh, Lava Strike's definitely much nicer to do on Slayer now, no more PKers, which is great. Um, obviously Searing Ashes are probably going to crash quite a lot. I would imagine... Oh, dear, if I stop yawning. I'd imagine somewhere around um, 30 to 50k is where they'll end up settling probably. So they're probably going to be uh, quite a few more in the game for the first few days because, you know, the hype. We've got more people doing it, so... There will be more ashes, of course. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem too bad. The Infernal Puzzle Box with Persistent Rage is very nice. I'm assuming eventually that'll become passive, which like, I, I sort of like, but at the same time, it's like you invent a problem and then give a reward as a solution. Like It, 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 se it seems a bit, I don't know, it just seems a bit wrong, because like in my, in my opinion, like, Persistent Rage should just be a thing from the get-go. Or, like, if anything, just make, instead of 10 seconds that Adren drains, just make it, like, 60 seconds before Adren drains, you know? Like, like, something something like that, I think, would be useful and good for uh, everybody. But instead, we have it as a reward space, so I guess, well, we'll take what we can get, I guess. Um, but did you guys know that in the wilderness here, I'm actually not in the wilderness right now. Oh my goodness. So uh, these like four squares here are for some reason not in the wilderness. So what that means is you can come here, you can actually teleport away uh, to anywhere. So I'll, I'll teleport up there and hey look, I'm back. Because um, obviously normally you cannot teleport here. It's like, oh no, you've got to be below level 20 wilderness. But luckily, this place exists, which could be useful for uh, like regearing or something, because there's not really a super convenient bank around. I guess there's a mage bank over there. But it's it's a bit of a bit of a trek. So you can just come down here. You can TP away anywhere you like. And uh, yes, yeah, I assume that'll get fixed next week. But you know, for now, you can probably think of ways to use it to uh, speed up your slayer gains if you want to. Um, but for now, that'll be it for us. And I, uh, I will see you next time.